Well, hello all. Today, if you haven't noticed, I have a Gola cockatoo with me. Yes, her name is Petra. And she just recently came into my home. Yeah. So I'm going to be going into the story about how her life has been so far and just everything about her. Yeah. So Petra, her name is Petra, and she will be a year old next month. As you can see, she's climbing all over me. It's typical cockatoo. Just got to be everywhere. Um, she was being rehomed on Craigslist, and I have been thinking about getting another bird for a while. It actually was between, um a Pionis and a Galah Cockatoo, but if you know anything about Pionis, uh, then you know that they're very rare and hard to find. There's like three breeders in the United States, and um, I was, like I said, I was on Craigslist. Come here. I was on Craigslist when I probably shouldn't have been, let's be honest, and I saw her face and it took me a full week of just thinking about even texting the person to see if she was still available before I did. And she was still available, so I asked more questions about her. And we drove the two and a half hours to go meet her. And I told my husband that I felt like I was going on a first date. I was so nervous and excited to meet her. I just didn't know what she was going to be like, if she was going to like me or, you know, just instantly hate me. Um, but it went amazing. She stepped right up for me and um, she's not scared of strangers. She was on an all-seed diet, so we're trying to convert her to a healthier diet of pellets and chop, which she's do, doing amazing with. She's taken to pellets immediately, and we're working on the chop, but I think she's getting a hang of that as well. Um, so, come here. So if you see her tail feathers, they're a little messed up. And that's because um, the last owner had her in her old cage and she had her outside to be in the sun for a while and a big dog ac accidentally knocked over the cage and the, her old cage opens from the top so it opened and um, the dog ac accidentally got a hold of her neck and drug her a little bit. And in no way am I trying to bash or blame the old owner. I know she did her absolute best. I know that she did everything that she could with what she could do. And Petra is an amazing bird. And I contribute that to the fact that she was an amazing owner. I mean, there's just no way around that. She would probably be a lot more work if the situation was different. So I'm not trying to bash the old owner in any way. You know, we all make mistakes. I've made mistakes. So, I mean, it's the past. It's what you do with the future that matters. So I just wanted to tell a little bit about her backstory and, you know, where she's come from and just, just her life so far. She loves to say her name Petra. I don't know if you can see her. And she might be a little sleepy now. We did a, we did some flight training with her, which she's never done until she lived with us. She just, you know, wasn't really food motivated since she was on a seed diet. So since she's on healthier food now, she's a bit more motivated to fly, and she's been absolutely loving it. She also makes kissing noises, usually when you go to give her scritches, which she demands scritches demands them. Um, yeah. I don't know what else I can say about her except for she's been an amazing bird. She she is a bit nippy like you hear that Galahs are. I'm not gonna, you know, sugarcoat that. She is a little nippy but she's been extremely wonderful and I'm just so happy to have her in my life. And I'm 
so happy to share her with all of you so you can see her and I think I might do a little bit of a clip of her doing some flight training just so you guys can enjoy that so just stay tuned to see her do some flight training good girl all right Petra come here good girl good girl Here, Petra. Petra, come on. Good girl. Good girl. So since we've gotten her, we've worked on target training, which she doesn't seem to be too familiar with the concept, but she's picked up on it like that. She's super smart, and like I said, working on the flight training so we can work out those muscles. I think she's a little overweight so just help her get healthier in general um, we plan to get an aviary in the future and I know she's gonna absolutely love that with along with my other birds um, I think we might try to harness train her as well we'll see how that goes but I, I would love to harness train her and be able to take her places with me that would be great so thank you all for joining me and seeing me get my dream bird, my galah cockatoo, Petra. And I hope you all have a nice day. Feel free to comment, like, or subscribe to my channel. Bye.